In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your TI Inspire calculator to find the formula for the nth term of both a quadratic as well as a cubic sequence. On the left hand side of the screen here, you can see that I have a sequence of numbers, and our task is to find its formula for the nth term. Now, although we're going to use our calculator to find the formula, we do need to establish one thing before using it, and that is what type of sequence we're actually dealing with. Looking at this sequence, we can see quite clearly that we're not always multiplying by the same amount to get from one term to the next, and so I start looking at the differences between consecutive terms. Let's see, from 6 to 11, I'm adding 5. From 11 to 18, I'm adding 7. From 18 to 27, we're adding 9. From 27 to 38, we're adding 11. And from 38 to 51, we're adding 13. And we can see here that the differences between consecutive terms is always changing by the same amount. Indeed, we can see that as we go from left to right, the second differences are always equal to 2. And just as you probably already know, when the second difference is constant, in other words, when it never changes, it means we're dealing with a quadratic sequence. Quadratic sequence. And since it's a quadratic sequence, we know that the formula for the nth term has to look something like this. The nth term is equal to a times n squared plus b times n plus c. And so what we need to find are the coefficients a, b, and c. And that's exactly what we can do with the calculator. And here's how. On my TI Inspire here, you can see that I'm on the home screen. And the first thing we need to do is enter all the terms of the sequence we have inside a spreadsheet. And I do that in a new document. So on the calculator, I go ahead and press on New Document. And I go to the fourth option, Add Lists and Spreadsheet. Now in the first column, we're going to write down what value of n each of these terms corresponds to. Don't worry, that's much easier than it sounds. For the first term, 6, n would be equal to 1. For the second term, 11, n would be equal to 2. For the third term, it would be equal to 3. The fourth term, 4. The fifth term, 5 and so on and so forth. And so on my calculator, at the very top of that column, I'll write n, and now I enter those values. So we go from the first to the sixth term. So I just write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now in the next column, I write the values of the terms of the sequence. And I'll name that column u, like so. Okay, so the terms are 6, 11, 18, 27, 38, and 51. Done. And now to find the coefficients a, b, and c, I place myself in an empty cell somewhere. I like to go up here, somewhere like there. And on my calculator, I click on Menu, followed by the fourth option, Statistics, followed by the first option, Stat Calculations, and now I'm going to select Quadratic Regression. And I choose this one because remember, we had already established that we're dealing with a quadratic sequence. And so I click on that. It now asks me for the x list, and that just corresponds to the values of n, and so we have that in our first column, remember. And so I click on the drop down menu, and I select the first option I see, which is n. Next, for the y list we're being asked for, we enter the column containing the terms of the sequence. So I click on the drop down menu, and I select u and everything else we see here can remain untouched. And so I simply click on OK. And we're done. We can see here that we have the value of a, b, and c. Indeed, for this quadratic sequence, the coefficient a is equal to 1, the coefficient b is equal to 2, and the coefficient c is equal to 3. And so I can write that here, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 3. And of course, I could even write my answer as un, the nth term, equals to 1 times n squared, so that's just n squared, plus 2n plus 3. And that's the answer. Okay, that's how we find the formula for a quadratic sequence. Let's quickly look at a second example in which I consider a cubic sequence, and that's this one right here. Looking at the sequence of numbers we have here, just as for the first one, we can see right away that we're not always multiplying by the same amount to get from one term to the next. And so I look into the differences between consecutive terms. And so let's see, from 1 to 14, we're adding 13. From 14 to 65, we're adding 51. From 65 to 178, we're adding 113. 
and from 178 to 377, we're adding 199. Now I look into the second differences. And so let's see, from 13 to 51, we're adding 38. From 51 to 113, we're adding 62. And from 113 to 199, we're adding 86. Finally, looking into the third differences, we notice that to get from 38 to 62, we're adding 24. And from 62 to 86, we're adding 24 as well. In other words, for this sequence, the third difference is constant. And what that tells us is that we're dealing with a cubic sequence. And since this is a cubic sequence, its formula for the nth term looks something like this. a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. And so we need to find each of the four coefficients a, b, c, and d. And luckily for us, we can do that with our calculator again. And so let's see how to do that. On my calculator, I'll just go back to the home page. And once more, I need to create a new document. So I click on new. I don't need to save the previous one, so I'll click no here. And I add a list or a spreadsheet. That's the fourth option, and I click on it. I'll go a little faster this time. Remember the top of the first column I call n. And in that column, I write down the values of n we have. So looking at our sequence, we have the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the fifth term. So I go up to five in this case. So I write one, two, three, four, and five. Next, at the top of the second column, I give it a name and I called it u. And now I write down the value of this sequence's terms. So those are one, 14, 65, 178, and 377. I now move to an empty cell, and again, I like to use this one. And to find the coefficients a, b, c, and d of our cubic sequence, I now click on Menu, followed by the fourth option, Statistics, followed by the first option, Stat Calculations, and I go ahead and select Cubic Regression. And so I click on that. For the X list, remember, that corresponds to the values of n, so I click on the drop-down menu, and I select n. For the Y list, that corresponds to the term, so I click there, and I select U. Everything else I leave completely blank, and I click on OK. And we're done. We can now find the values of the coefficients A, B, C, and D. In fact, let me center that a bit. There we go. Looking at this, we have A equals to 4, and I'll just write that, A equals to 4. We have B, which equals to negative 5. We have c, which equals to negative 3.3 times e to the negative 11. And don't worry, I'll specify what that means in just a second. And finally, we have d, which equals to 2. Now, for this value of c here, this negative 3.3 times e negative 11, well, that means negative 3.3 times 10 to the power of negative 11. And put simply, that's our calculator telling us that that's equal to 0. And you can rest assured, if ever you get a number like the one you see here, then that's our calculator finding something very, 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 very close to zero, and in fact, it is just equal to zero. So we can state here c equals zero. And we can go ahead and write that the nth term of this cubic sequence is 4n cubed minus 5n squared plus 0n, which I won't write, plus 2. And that's the answer. And the good news is we could use the calculator in the same way to find a linear sequence or even a quartic sequence. Indeed, if you look at the menu again, if I click on Menu, followed by Statistics, followed by Stat Calculations, then we can see that we could use a linear regression. We could also use a quartic regression, which could definitely come in handy. And there we go. That's how we can find the formula for the nth term of a quadratic and a cubic sequence using our calculator. And that's it for this tutorial.